Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will learn about the association. We'll talk what is the association and how it is different from the joints and what all are the types of the association. We will create one CDS view with this association and we will try to call this particular CDS view in one of the, our report program and we will see how it is behaving different differently with the different different kind of association. Let's get started. To understand the association, I will use same CDS entity which we have created in my last video. So in my last video, we, we saw how left outer join work with the two many and two one. So we, we were having the short table as a VBAK and we were doing the left outer join with the VBAP. In this video, we will replace this left outer join with the association. Then first thing, what is this association? Association is the relationship be between the source entity i can say source entity and it can be anything like the table it can be ddic based cds view it can be cds entity it can be normal view anything it can be and the target it's a relationship between the source entity and the target entity but the join also doing the same thing it's also relationship between the source and target entity but there is a minor difference i can tell but it due to this minor difference we can achieve a lot of things in our uh, in, a, in our data modeling i can say so what is that minor difference the associations are demand on join or we can say it is lazy join so how it will work to understand this first we will see in the system itself so uh, what i will do i will rep replace this left outer join with the association so instead of using the left outer join i will use association to use association, you have to use association keyword, then you have to give the cardinality. So the cardinality basically, it is the relationship between the source and target. It always talks about the target. Currently, the relationship between the sales order and sales order header table and line, and line item table is like that. The header table for one entry in the header table, there can be the n number of entry in the line item table. n number means it can be one day entry or it can be two three and up to n number any number can be the entries in the vbap because one sales order can have the n number of line item but at least one line item will be there in the sales order so cardinality should so in this case it should be one to star so it is telling that in the how many line item can be there for one entry in the uh, vbak table how many line items in the VBAP table will be there for one entry in the VBAK table. So it's a cardinality defines for the target only here, not for the source. So you can see the cardinality then we have to define this. We have to define association to this particular VBAP and we have to give some own condition. What is the condition that same is it how we are doing in the join only. So I what I did instead of using the left outer join i'm using simple association i have given the cardinality what is the relationship between the source and target entity and i have given the condition and i'm using some of the fields from this particular particular table means first source entity not i'm not using uh, any field from the target entity i'm only using the fields from the source entity so you can see so one more thing i just want to add over here if you don't use this alias name here and you try to access this particular sales order and kuna directly you can access directly but in the in case of the join we have to define mandatorily if you are using vbak here so we have to define vbak dot mandatorily but here for the short entity it is not mandatorily to use the particular in the control view. here it's mandatory but in the select spill list we no need to define that where we are getting from it it is it system will understand by default you are getting from the shorts entity this particular two fields so as of now i got the this particular two fields from the vbak let me activate the cds view and let me see what will be the code will be executed in the native form native hana form what is the code got executed to create this particular uh, CDS view. So to see this, we have to right click and create so SQ SQL create statement. So in this in this statement, you can see 
it's a simple select it's a simple select like statement where we are getting the data uh, where we are getting only the vbln and kunar it's added one mandate client field additional and there is no vbap table at all here but instead of this if i would have used the inner zone left outer zone here and i left outer zone in this case you can see the it's mandatory to give here we have to give the vbak dot where it is coming from so is, otherwise it is giving me error so that's okay but now i will see this sql create statement then you will see the zone happen we we have we are not only hitting the vbak table to create this statement uh, we are hitting the vbap table as well and we are creating the zone this particular based on the sales order but in the case of the association it didn't happen so here i want to tell there is a two kind of association so first is the ad hoc association and second is the exposed association Don't we will call this association name is item underscore item so sap recommend us to use underscore before the association name because whenever we will use this particular association in another cds view or sql statement then we can easily understand this is coming from the association not from the simple c simple field list to differentiate between them we should use this underscore and sap recommend us to use underscore with the association name so you can see uh, i didn't use here any other field so if i want to use now this field here control v dot uh, before that let me replace again with this association and let me tell this association one to star association two with vbap and in this case what i will do i will get some field instead of the previously i didn't get some field then i saw the sql query statement and in that case what i was getting there there was no vbap at all but as soon as i get some field from here control c control v dot posner i get as soon as as soon as i got some field from this particular association and if i try to see the sql statement it will form a zone that is left outer zone so you can see most of the time association form the left outer zone there are some of some other scenario there are the sum of scenario which i will explain it will form inner zone as well we have either we have to convert that left outer zone to inner zone and if we access this particular cds entity in another cds directly as a source that time also it will form inner zone that we will see but before seeing that first thing normally whenever we are creating the association it converted into the left outer zone so obviously the relationship between table like that one to n so it will form the left outer zone and we will get the some data not only from the vbak table and we will get some data from the item table let me activate this one control f3 and do the f8 to see the data how the data is coming from this particular association so you can see uh, we we got the data header data uh, sales order owner and this from the uh, line item this is working like a zone only if i use left outer zone the same result i will get but there is one important thing over here this is as of now whatever i have explained this is called the ad hoc association ad hoc means we have whatever the asso association which we have defined in the cds view which we have used in this particular uh, field list or we can use in where condition as well that also i will explain when to use and what is the all are the condition to use in the where condition this particular association before that if i will use i will not use any field from this particular association and just i will give the association name in the field list and i will activate this one and now i will try to see this particular sql create statement So you can see we have used the association name but we didn't access any field from this particular association then the zone didn't form at all so that is the reason we call the association zone on demand until and unless we will not access any field from this particular association the zone will be not formed so 
join how to access the uh, access the any field from the particular association using the dot we have to give the path expression whatever we will do after this dot and blah 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 some field value if you are using some other association then field value this particular thing called the path expression if you read sap standard documentation it will help sometime we will not understand what is the path expression it is the whatever we are giving after dot we are getting the that particular field value it might be that we have another association then another association then the field value like that this particular thing is called this chain is called the path expression this also we will see but basically if i am not accessing this particular field in this particular select list then join is not forming and this this particular association is called exposed association we are exposing this particular association so that whenever this particular cdh view is called in some other select statement or in some other cds view we can use the fields from this particular association and as soon as we will use the fields from this select statement then join will form so that is the reason this association is called join on demand so what i will do now let me activate this one control f3 and let me execute and see the data again if you see we got the two data but in the data preview also we can still see the associated data i want to see the associated associated data with the this particular cells order what you have to do you have to right click on that and the, you have to click on the follow association so how many associations are there as of now we have only one association if we have multiple association it will give all the options so one to start i just double click on that so it will give much give me the so 11th number cells order what all are the line item is there the query will be executed so you can see for this sales order we have two line item 10 and 20 line items are there so i got the data from the association itself so let me call this particular cdsu entity one in the my one of the program and see how this particular association is behaving when we are accessing the data from this association and when we are not accessing the data from this association so i have already program let which we have created in my last video so we'll use same program let me open it here itself so what i will do instead of getting all the data first i will get only sales order and the vba key on oh, and kunna sorry not vba key so in this case i am getting only two field let me see in the back end what native sql query got executed and the the join formed or not when i am accessing the data from this particular thing when we did the left outer join the join form because because of one to end relationship between the table the join form if you watch the my last video you already know what is one to end and end to one relationship relationship when we are using the left outer join so if the table relationship between the left hand side and right hand side table one two and and we are using the in left outer join in that case the join always forms but in this case we use the association instead of using the join and the relationship between the table is one to one so what will happen I, and the one more important thing i'm not accessing the data from the item table let me activate this one control f3 and do f9 obviously i will get the data i don't i'm not interested in the data i just want to activate the st05 trace and see activate trace this with the filter and let me give this particular program name and the activate the trace and let me execute this program now f9 and deactivate the trace and display this particular trace execute it and the select this particular we have called this program only and in this, inside this program we call this consumption view and we want to see the execution plan so you can click on that and you can see the execution plan so you you can see join didn't form because we didn't get the data from the item table but in case of left after join the join formed but what i will do 
now and since the join didn't form we didn't get any data from vbap table and for each uh, vbak table if i do f9 again and see the console result there is a no duplicate entries for the uh, cells order which we are having the multiple line item but now what i will do i will access the data from this particular association how to access the data from the association you have to use backwards slash sorry and you have to do control space uh, before that the comma should be there and there it will show you the there is one association and you want to access some data dot control space you can do you have to give this path as uh, expression this is called path expression ah in this case i think we have to give date dot will not work we have to use this osner I got one field from the path expression. So I am getting that particular item increase the cardinality. So it is telling the increasing the cardinality means previously we got one data, the cardinality will obviously it will get the change. Let me activate control F3. Let me do F9. Before doing F9, let me activate the trace. So I did F9, I got the let me clear out the console that will be better uh, let me go to the st05 come back and activate this trace again so i can see the how the zone is happening activate trace with filter and i will give only this particular program name to ex activate the trace and now i will execute this particular program i will do f9 so you can see i got the data uh, for sales order number 11 you can see we have multiple line item previously we will be we were having only single line item because join didn't form in this case since we have accessed the data from the line item table the join got formed let me deactivate the trace and the display trace see the execution plan of this particular query if you see this particular execution plan let me close this console and let me enlarge little bit this one so you can see uh, that we are the join is happening on the vbap and v, vbak and vbap table and we are getting the data from both the table so you can see it's a now join on demand when we access the data from item association then only join is happening otherwise there is no join in this video we have learned about the basics of association in my next video we'll see how we can use these associations in our where condition if we are using in where condition what is the prerequisite and when this particular association will form inner join instead of left outer join not only that we will talk about cardinality as well before going to that video please like this video subscribe this channel and share these videos with others as well. Thank you and happy learning.